Hello, my pretty friend. Good to see you. It's good to see you. I, my buddy. I, I, I will say, uh, I know this is kind of the first thing you've done in a little while. Your mom passed away uh, a month ago, and I'm sorry that you, you for your loss. And Thanks, Alan. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I basically haven't left the house until I'm sitting on national television on your show. Uh huh. Well, well you <laughs> so look, I thought that was a great plan. It is. It is. To sit at home and rest up, yeah. and then you look beautiful. And you've been doing. I, well, what? I I Mari Kondoed the entire house. What does that mean? It's the, oh, I, the woman that, that... You know, the woman who does the tidy, the magic of tidying up, she wrote that book. Yes, yes. And she has a show called T Tidying Up. Yes, we had her on the show, but I didn't oh. know what that meant. So you... you. So I'm, I'm Marie kondo the entire house, every closet, every drawer, everything, and um, we threw out minimum 200 pounds. I mean, minimum 200 pounds of stuff still looks exactly the same. <laughs> oh, that's a lot I of know. stuff. See, I move a lot, so it's easy for me to get rid of stuff, because I, I really don't like a lot of stuff. I try to keep it minimum also. What, did, so is it the thing where you hold things, and does it give you joy? It's sparking joy. Right. Yeah. So um, I found this, uh, I found something in my cleaning out that was a little pin that says blue velvet on it. Because I was in the movie Blue Velvet, but I got cut out of it. And with a little note that said, um, thanks for your hard work, love, David Lynch. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool, that right? Is, yeah, very cool. You got cut out. What did you do in it? Well, I was at the beginning of the movie, which the whole beginning got cut. But I was Kyle MacLachlan's uh, kind of not very nice girlfriend in college. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually had, it's in the, it came out in the DVD extras a couple of years ago. I have a whole scene where I not just make out, but it's like a French kissing expo. <laughs> it's like the most intense make out, make out edge. Is that, is that the place yeah, where you're making out with him? Yeah, but when you see it in real life, uh -huh. it's just a lot of like, mwah, mwah, mwah. And the, the craziest part is that was one of the first things I ever did on film. It was like my, one of my first jobs. I don't remember doing that. And I never kissed anybody on film. And you'd think I'd remember. Yeah, you, you would. <laughs> Especially the mwah, mwah, yeah. mwah. It was, you know, in the 80s, they used to do different kissing. It used to be like full, like crazy next level. Frenching and now it's like they pulled it back, but there was a period in the 80s where they really went to town Yeah, no, I know because then and before it's going full cycle I guess because the before like in the movies in the 50s They were just like when they kissed it was just closed mm, mouth, mm -hmm. you know mm, that wah, wah, <laughs> mm, mm, Like that right yeah, it was yeah. just tight-lipped kissing. Yeah, yeah, and, and then now you have to watch the bachelor franchise to get that full Yeah, the full yeah. French yeah, the full you can actually. Experience. Yeah, you hear the saliva on the Bachelor. You yeah. actually, you you can hear the saliva moving around. Nick, Nick and I watch <laughs> Nick and I watch the whole Bachelor franchise, and every single time, without fail, that any two people are kissing, he goes, "Oh God." <laughs> Like, he can't handle it. Well, then why does he watch? That's what the whole show is. I know. It's just making out. I know. Out. I think he secretly might be into it. Clearly. Um, all right, let's talk about Will and Grace. So mm -hmm. now your character uh, thinks she's a lesbian. Is that you're seeing a woman? Mm-hmm. Uh, Samira Wiley right. plays the character, and she's amazing. Right. Love her. And um, <laughs> so I, uh, the, the episode that's airing tonight is actually, there's an homage to the famous episode of your sitcom I, where you came out. I heard. Yeah. I heard. That's really cool. And I wanted to say that, and I've said this in a lot of other interviews, but I've never, I don't think I've ever actually said it to you, the person who matters um, the most, which is that, you know, your show really laid the groundwork for Will and Grace. I don't know if there would have been a Will and Grace had you not done that show and come out. Uh, so well, thank you for that. Thank you for my career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>